Well, these frigid temperatures can be dangerous not only for you, but for your pets if precautions aren't taken to keep them warm when they go outside. John McDevitt from KYW News Radio shows us how you can protect your pets and what can be done if you suspect someone else's dog is in danger. Not only are there pets up for adoption at the Pennsylvania SPCA, there's a wellness center too, where veterinarians like Dr. Megan Wilson will take care of your pet. Dr. Wilson says the cold weather can be life-threatening. We do see animals with hypothermia, and they need hospitalization for that. They need to be on IV fluid to help rehydrate them, warm bedding, because they can't go into shock from hypothermia. So it is a medical emergency. A dog could die. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yep, very much like people. Veterinarians recommend limiting walks in the cold weather, dressing dogs in coats, and if they can stand them, booties. I tried it with my dog and she was not having it. So I was like, okay, we'll give that up. Daryl Bailey of West Oak Lane keeps his two-month-old pup Moya warm and in vogue. Why did you select this one? It's cool? Well, yeah, because, you know, it's, 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 it's stylish, you know what I mean? She has a, the doggy bone on the back, plus it's a reversible, so she can actually wear the pink side as well. Experts say bundle your dog up during this extreme cold and limit playtime. I'm all king. King. Go get it. Which one? All right, it's cold out here. Let's go in. You can snuggle with King. He's up for adoption here at the Pennsylvania SPCA. The Pennsylvania SPCA wants to hear from the public if you suspect that a dog is in danger by being kept outside in the cold. And we always rely on the public for these types of things. So if you see something, you know, it's that saying, you see something, say something. If you see something, call us, let us know. Whether we go out or we divert you to Act Philly, somebody will come out and help make sure animals are being kept safe and warm during this really frigid time. John McDevitt, KYW. News Radio for CBS3 Eyewitness News.